Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to accept reality and be happy. You know, it's interesting because sometimes we're trying to figure out how to be happy. Other times we're figuring out how do we accept reality. Well, today we're going to talk about how do you do both? How do you accept reality and be happy? Thanks for tuning in today to Principle-Based Living. So today we're talking about how, how do you accept reality and be happy? Now, sometimes reality is great. It's exactly what we want it to be and it's easy to be happy. But other times reality is not what we want it to be. It's not what we think it should be. And it's a real challenge to be happy. So we're going to talk a little bit again, just some foundational things about us and life and happiness. So think about it in your own life. <clears throat> do you ever do anything for no reason? Now, initially you may say, well, yeah, I do things all the time for no reason. But if you think about it at a deeper level, you'll realize that that isn't true, that everything you do, you do for a reason or you wouldn't do it. And research shows that there are two primary reasons that we do the things that we do. One is to obtain pleasure. The other is to avoid pain, which to me all kind of means the same thing that we're looking for happiness. We want, we want to experience happiness, but here's the problem with that. Sometimes it's not, that we want to be happy. It's that we want what we want because we think that if we had what we want, then we would be happy, which isn't necessarily the case because oftentimes our beliefs are not based on truth. They are conditioned beliefs that we have either learned from others or we've learned through our own experience and our behaviors seem to give us happiness, so we may get a short-term benefit, and so we think that what we believe and what we're doing is working, but in reality, it isn't. So sometimes it's important that we get real clear and understanding that what we really are striving for, what we really want is we want happiness, and just because we have what we want doesn't mean that we will be happy. In fact, life is set up in such a way that it will teach us exactly what we need to know and what we need to do in order to achieve and experience true happiness. So how do you accept reality when it's not what you want? Well, you don't have to. You have a choice. That's one of the principles or one of the laws is that you get to choose what you want to think and what you want to believe. So nobody can make you accept reality. You can resist it all you want. Well, sometimes when you resist reality, it seems to make sense. But there are other times when we resist reality, or if we think about resisting reality, we would recognize that that makes no sense. And a person to think that way clearly is not thinking straight. For example, I like snow, but I don't like cold. So what if all of the time I was arguing and complaining because the only time there's snow, it's cold. And I resisted and resisted complaining to God or to nature and saying, you know what? It should be different. When there's snow, it should be warm so that I can enjoy the snow and not be cold. Well, if you think about that, it doesn't make much sense. But some other examples where sometimes it seems to make sense is that we believe that other people shouldn't be the way that they are. So that person shouldn't treat me the way that they do. Or that person shouldn't behave the way that they do. Well, that belief in and of itself is false. Because the fact 
that the person is behaving the way that they're behaving is evidence that that's the way that it is. So all of the arguing against it isn't going to change that. All it does is create a situation where we are unhappy because things are not the way that we want them to be or the way that we think that they should be. So the way to accept reality is first of all to understand that there's a principle that, that governs or directs this issue. And any time we are unhappy about the way that things are, what we are trying to do is to control something that is outside of our control. Because one of the foundational principles about this world in which we live is the principle of control. And that principle of control says that we have control over only three things, which are our conscious thoughts, our emotions, and our behaviors. Everything else is influence. So anytime reality is different than what we think that it should be, and we feel uncomfortable because of that, and we want things to be different, we're just arguing with the truth. We're arguing with the law or a principle, and it doesn't matter how much we want to argue with it, we're not going to be able to change that. So the way to accept reality is to realize that it's a choice. And regardless of whatever reality is, we can choose to accept it or not accept it. And if we choose not to accept it, then we get to ask ourselves why. Because everything we do, we do for a reason. So if I choose not to accept reality and I choose to be upset or sad or angry or whatever that emotion connected with that decision is, there must be some payoff that I'm getting for choosing to not accept reality and to feel the way that I'm feeling. Once I accept accountability for that, then I can look at, okay, well, what is the payoff? What am I getting from this? And is it really benefiting me? And then we make a choice of, do I want to keep doing what I'm doing? Or if it's not working, I now have the power and control to change the whole situation because in an instant, I can recognize that reality is what it is. I can't change it. And just by accepting it, I can now get into a state of peace, acceptance, and happiness. So the way to achieve true happiness in life is get to a place where we accept the things that we can't control and we focus on changing the things that we can control. And by doing that, we will experience more happiness in our life. Thanks for joining today. I hope that this has been helpful to you. And if you'd like to know more about what we do, visit our website, you'll see it listed below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you.